hello my lovely kings and queens you are definitely welcome back to my channel again so in today's video i am going to react to latoya forever it seems as if lati 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 latoya has got a very sweet name a very lovely name latoya forever it's a very nice name yeah latoya forever latoya forever it seems as if latoya forever she's doing whatever she wants to do in order to capture she wants to capture adam's attention by dating different guys dating different guys i know it you can see clearly i do believe that latoya forever she is not happy like the way she always used to pretend there on social media that she's happy she is not happy she wants her man back she wants the father of her kids back in her life because right now she's dating different guys she's dating another pastor from nigeria recently she was dancing there on her what on her instagram platform with a nigerian accent guy very thick very nice nice body structure the guy is it's very cute I'm not sure if the guy is a scammer or what. I'm not sure, allegedly. I'm not sure. Because for me, when I looked at the guy, the guy, I could see that they were not even a match. They were not even a match. They were dancing, singing. I'm not sure if that guy is an upcoming singer or is a celebrity or what. But that guy, it wasn't the first time that I saw that guy on Latoya Forever's videos. Because when I just looked at the they were, they were just like inter, in, interacting with each other you could just tell that no these people somehow they have got what a crush like they have got like feelings against each other you could just sense the way they were just like dancing it was showing that maybe something could have happened i'm not saying that maybe they have done something together i'm just saying that something you know because just like the way Ben said it Ben said it already Adam Ali said it already. Latoya forever. She's for the streets. So for some of you who don't believe me, thinking that maybe, oh, I've got a problem with Latoya forever. No, I don't have any problem with Latoya forever. Just understand that that's what I do. I just react to the video. It has got nothing to do with hatred, all those things. I just react to the videos. Honestly speaking, all this thing that Latoya forever she's doing, she's doing it in order for adam to say wow she has changed wow i have not been treating her as a man maybe that's what she's she's trying to do that uh, uh, if you you were not treating me good another man would treat me good but all those men that she's she's what she's always like picking all of them they're just like thirsty for attention and most of them they're scammers you see the other one was like a scammer now he's what he's going to rot there in jail he's in jail now sp nearly eight months that he's going to what spend on in what in jail then immediately when that man just got involved in with the law there in america she just dumped the man like this moved on to a nigerian pastor that nigerian pastor the moment when she, he is going to scam her that's when she's going to come here on social media crying because all men are not good for, for Latoya forever. Which means, I'm not sure if Latoya forever, maybe she needs evaluation or something. I'm not saying that maybe she's got a problem, mental problem. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I'm not sure if she needs evaluation. Because there's no how you can what? You can be dating this guy today. When the relationship breaks up. Already. Somebody, you are in a relationship. Ah! Oh, Latoya forever, uh, she's a problem also. You see, you know, on the other side, to tell you the truth, I do feel very bad for Van. The way they were always like dancing here on social media. I mean, I could tell from the very beginning that mm -mm, this relationship, it wasn't going to last. So right now, where is he? He's going to rot there in jail. What is she doing? She moved on with her life now with the Nigerian pastor allegedly and recently she was dancing there on her channel on instagram with another nigerian guy not sure if he's a scammer or what allegedly just know that everything that i'm just like saying allegedly 
So for some of you who are always like twisting our information when we report on news, you try, you try to change our narrative and try to, to make it according to the way you want it. You know, I don't like a situation whereby sometimes, you know, when you try to, to, to react to somebody's video and then you find that some other people, they don't like it, you know. So if you don't like to watch somebody's video, you know, it's better, you know, that you go to those people that you, you, you'll find them, you know, narrating stories according to the way you want it, all those things, you know. The fact remains that, you know, if this celebrity, they're always going to be creating drama they on, on, on social media. That's what we do. I do talk about gossiping, you know, I do talk about celebrating you. Just know that that's what I'm going to continue doing. So my people, make sure that you turn on your notification and leave some comments if you think that maybe Latoya for Eva, she's tr doing it the most, or maybe if she's trying to, to, to seek attention from Adam Ali, because for me, it seems as if she's regretting, she wants the, her baby daddy back in her life, allegedly. So I am not sure, I, because you know what? The thing that I always used to see, with Latoya Forever, I don't used to get a lot of criticism. In most cases, they don't want her to get back with Adam Ali. But when it comes to Jamie and Nikki, they always used to go hard for Jamie. But me, I don't go hard for Jamie because, you know, the thing that just annoyed me with, with that Jamie of theirs. The moment when Nikki will sit down there decorating the house, and then him he will be running, running on the skateboard, the, you know, in Australia, traveling to America, traveling to Georgia, traveling all over the world. Nikki will be just like uh, sitting there, you know, doing uh, uh, some homeworks with the kids, you know. You know, Nikki was like living in another world. And then you'll find that those ones were like, just like delusional. They'll be telling you that, hey, I pray that they should come back together. No. For both of these people, I don't pray that they should come back together. Clear, you can see that their marriage, it was a problem. Believe me or not, whether you try to come for me, the fact remains that I don't have any hatred towards Latoya forever. I don't have any hatred towards Jamie. I don't have any hatred towards Simple Nikki. I don't have any hatred to the both of them or Adam Ali. It's very important that you choose a man who's going to treat you very good. Not a situation whereby you will be forcing because nowadays some other some other ladies they force marriage. That's the reason why they always used to say, take your time, ladies. Enjoy your life when there's still time. Don't rush into marriage for the sake of oh my friend, she's already married. I have reached 28. Hey, what what about my family? My family will be talking. There's no kids, see all those things. Enjoy your life. Don't go in marriage for the sake of your father, for the sake of your mother, for the sake of your family. That's the reason why you, you find that most of you, you rush into the marriage knowing that the person does not love you for who you are. And then once the person will start mistreating you, that's when you come on social media regretting it. Make, calling that man that is a, is a horrible man, he's not meant for you. Well, you knew from the very beginning that the man was not for you. The man could be for someone else. Take your time. Choose a man who's going to treat you good. Choose a man who's going to care for you as a person rather than forcing a relationship. Once when you force a relationship, the consequence, my sister, out there, it's not going to be good. It's very important, ladies, to value yourself. The more you value yourself, that's the more you have respect for yourself. You understand? You see, like Simple Nikki and Latoya Forever, all these two ladies, they were, they were the the breadwinner in the in their marriage. Look even Latoya forever. When she dumped that guy, she went on with her life. Is she suffering? No, she's not suffering. When Nikki dumped that one, that Jamie, you see, now Jamie, he's not even playing with that skateboard. Now he's doing the fatherly figure duty. That's how you treat a man. Don't chase after men. Let men chase your lady out there. Ladies nowadays, I don't know. You know, you are chasing after men instead of men to be chasing after you. The moment when you show a man that you love him so much, my sister, he will never do anything for you. Never. That's why you see that these men, they will never even respect you. They will have low respect for you. But the moment when they pick somebody there at the club, you will see the way they will be showering that person. So ladies, learn to respect yourself. 
not a situation whereby when you see a celebrity or these YouTubers when they are breaking up with their with their husband because some of them they ended in a marriage for the sake of YouTube views or for the sake of families or for the sake of friends getting married or for the sake of what of Jackie Anna and that British guy this black love. And then even them, they just want put themselves into marriage where they're not worried that the marriage is not is not even going to last. So my people, see you in my next video. I am not. I'm just saying. Take your time. When you look here on what on YouTube, the statistic. I think you know when you look at the statistic of divorce here on what on YouTube, most of them they are black people, black people who are divorcing, separating. Marriage failure, relationship failure. That's when you can see that clearly they are entering the marriage when it's not it's not theirs.